So you want to stop missing CS? Watch these things you can do to take your CS per minute from this to this. Try using stop key before auto attacking each minion. Like this. Also, try holding your cursor still over the minion to ensure the last hit. Like this. Wait, is that a stop key? Yeah. Can you stop moving? Yes! How have I this is a real tip, Sai! Try using it's a real fucking tip. Stop key before auto attacking each minute. Okay. So these are some things I wanted to talk about. This is a quick play match. I just figured a quick play would be quicker and easier to explain these concepts to you that are going to increase your CS per minute in farming consistency. Now, the Zed, he actually starts the game here with a kill, which is, is not ideal for farming because of the fact that you want your enemy to be as weak as possible, to deny you as few minions as possible. So let's go to the very start of when the, the minions arrive. There's something, there's something that I do that is very essential to getting a high CS number. And let's see if you can spot it. What am I doing? What am I doing right now? What am I doing? The answer is I'm just last hitting. I'm last hitting the minions. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Last hit. Okay? Only last hit. Now, if I, if I decide to just push the minions and just like auto the shit out of them, the wave is going to it's going to push right here. And it's going to freeze right here. And that's horrible. You don't want that. You can't shove the wave in. You can't recall. He can poke you and deny you with his Q. Um, the jungler can gank you, you know? It's just horrible. So don't push the wave at the start. The first three waves are very important. They really set you up for the whole rest of the game. It's important to get as many of them as you can without dying. And so, yeah, I'm just last hitting. Okay, so that's the first thing. Second thing. I let the wave crash. I let him crash this huge wave on me, right? Now, this is actually very good. This is very good for me. And the reason for this is I'm able to farm safely under my tower. So I just got all those minions, and he was level 2 with a health advantage. So now, you know, like, like I'm healing up. I got my cookies. But now, the wave's right here. And so what's going to happen is it's going to push back into his tower right here. And the reason for this is when my minions spawn in the base and his minions spawn they spawn at the same time my minions are going to make it here by the time his minions are right here so once they make it here then they're fighting they make it to the fight you know they're fighting these minions and they're participating these minions are still walking up over here so my minions are going to kill his minions and then all of a sudden i have a bigger wave and it's building up and it's pushing into here so that, that's the reason for that so now why would you want to push the wave into their tower slowly there's multiple reasons. If you'd like to dive, if you'd like to recall, um, and so yeah, or if you'd like to to roam. Um, but so yeah, as you can see, so like another thing that I wanted to discuss is that right here, if if I just decide to like push all the minions. when they're right here and just shove it like I'm still getting a shove in right here like I could still shove the wave into him right here if I really wanted to but that would that wouldn't be good um because then I, I would have to recall it and it would be pushing back into me and it also you know um it, it doesn't it doesn't give me as much value as slow pushing does here so uh, I just keep last hitting. I just keep last hitting, and I let my minions do the pushing for me. I don't. I don't push it. I let the minions do it for me, so then they can build up. So now that this, so now that this wave is crashing right here, um, I could have recalled right here if I wanted. If this Zed was like a Malzahar with teleport, then I would have recalled right here, and I would have just taken the free base, and I would have gotten my, um. My, maybe another, maybe like a don't, I don't know. I don't know what a rally would buy. I don't play this champ. 
But I would, I would, I would recall. I would base right here. But it's a Z, and he has ignite. What this means is that when this wave pushes back into me here, if I instead freeze the wave and then I recall, I could teleport back. He can't teleport back. And I'll, t I'll explain to you the value of this in a second. But so yeah, I'm just trying to get this freeze here. Um, so I freeze it right there, right? And now I'm just I'm just trying to back. And then, you know, the Shaco, he's a little questionable what he does here. But <clears throat> I have the freeze right here. Um, nothing else that happens really matters. It's going to be good for me no matter what. So... Now I'm basing, the sh you know, the Shaco messed up my recall, so it doesn't actually freeze here. Like, he's actually able to get it shoved in. Okay, so it doesn't freeze because the Shaco messed up my recall. But, I'm still able to just teleport back with my, with my, what it was not, it was not a recurve bone and long sword, because I, I got the kill on Shaco. But, I just TP back when my minions are getting here. Um, he can, he can, he, he roams, which is not good, because... I'm just, I just shove it in right away, and he loses this wave. Um, like, he, he doesn't get a kill. He has to leave the roam, like, immediately, because he sees I'm shoving. And so now, he hasn't recalled still. He's coming back to lane after just missing a wave with just a Dorn's Blade and a Reaker, and I have a Reaker Bone Longsword. So, the wave is going to push back into me right here. And I can freeze it with my item advantage, so he's he's really it's he's really in a scuffle here. He plays the fight he plays the fight pretty well here, um, but I still kill him just because I have such an advantage in items. And so now, right here. I could have said, okay, I'm just going to shove this wave in and back, right? But if we count the minions, he has more minions than me. It's going to take a little bit to shove this wave. I can still get it shoved in. I have enough mana to. But if I just back up, I'm low on health. I don't know where the jungler is. If I just back up and I recall, then these minions, all these fuckers are going to die, dude. Look, how, look at all these wizards. All these guys are going to die. So, yeah. So now, now this is pushing back into me. The Shaco's trolling. I get the recall off. And so th this was a good back. Um, what you can do is you can trim it a bit. You know, I don't really, I haven't analyzed the proper amount to trim a wave for, for the sake of missing as few as possible here. But... He pushes in the wave, and this is my second back of the game. I missed, I missed, I missed four minions on that back. I get back to lane, I shove the wave in, he's missing another wave. It gives me freedom to throw my R wherever I want. And so yeah, now he just missed that other wave. What's the wave going to do right now? What is this wave going to do right now? I've got about... Um, I've got these two items that are worth a lot more than his two items. And this wave, it's going to push right here. And it's going to freeze right there. I'm going to have my advantage. And he's not going to be able to farm. And I, I'm going to be able to farm up Storm. So, you know, I just keep blast hitting right here. And I'm just keeping the wave right here, and I can just jump on him whenever I want. Now I freeze it again, and so look what he does. Look what he does. He stays because I froze the wave. If I let him crash it, then he, he just can get a free base. A lot of people let people base for free, and that's why they're not able to do a lot with their leads sometimes. It's a mistake that I've made a lot. I'm trying to work on. But so... Right here, he tries to fight me. He ends up dying. 
not much he can do. I have, I have the gold advantage. So now he's dead with all these minions. Just go massacring my minions. And he's not there for any of it. So I just keep last hitting right here. You know. Um. Never leave your, if you have a wave frozen, don't just like, don't leave, don't go to some random roam, like some coin flip roam. You need to stay at the freeze and keep last hitting and keep the freeze there. I mean, there's exceptions to this rule, obviously, but that's up for you to decide. But so now, my teleport, it's about to come back up. And... I have the wave right here again. So he tries to kill me, but, you know, I'm just too nimble. So, basically, I just keep last hitting here. And then, let's see what happens next. I'm at, I have no mana, right? And the, wa the wave's right here. I base. I base. And then I teleport back. So now... After this teleport, right? This means... Hang right, on, we're 9.45 minutes into the match. I have 78 CS and 3 kills. And I have been off the map for approximately... 30 seconds. And I based 3 times. And the, the one where I was off the map for 30 seconds, I missed 4 minions. So, really just not spending too much time off the map here. It's very crucial. And so, he backs right there, and that, that's that's a good back for him. You know, that's the best base he's had all game. And so, I don't push the wave, you know. I, I, I don't even know if I, I don't think I could even get this wave pushed in in time for, like, him get, for the, when he gets back. But anyways, I don't push the wave, I just last hit. I just keep it right here. I have my Bork now, which is a huge power spike for me. And so... I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm able to just keep the wave here, and then I can just keep applying pressure. And there's just, there's nothing he could do. I've accumulated a 30 CS lead. And, and yeah. So, I just keep last hitting, keep zoning him. 